but uh, so now I got some other questions uh, because you hit down the Sasquatch Festival. Yeah. Yeah. What is your favorite part about driving down to the Sasquatch Festival? The driving itself? Yeah. Like, is there is there like any things you do every time, like places you stop, stuff like that, or is it just like a straight shot there? Well. Yeah, not particularly. That like, there's no, you know, places we've got to stop. Whatever. If I get another Jack in the Box burger before I go, you know, back to the island, I'll be happy. But <clears throat> no, really, I think the the fun things that I have. If I'm on the way down, we stop anywhere. I like to uh, I like to mess with the locals wherever I am. <laughs> like uh, one time on a road trip, I had uh, like a bunch of Canadian change. Mm -hmm. And I was like showing the Canadian change to the Americans. Yeah. And it was like, check it out, because you guys just have, you know, you don't have anything like we have, like with the loony or the toony or nothing, with no, like we, two different medals. No, we just have a bunch of boring presidents. Yeah, so the two yeah. different medals on the toony blew people away. Mm -hmm. I remember down in Oregon one road trip. And it was like, check this out. Uh, and I had like a crowd of people around me. I felt like I was like Jesus or an alien or something come down to earth. They're like, check this out, two medals. How do they stay together? No one knows. And uh, like talking about how it's the bear, we have a bear on team, right? It's really hot. Uh, so I was saying, and the queen was on the other side. And I was saying, check it out, we have the queen's bear behind. Uh, and that's that's like an old joke, you yeah. know. You know, when the yeah. Toonie first came out back in the '90s or whatever. And uh, but the Americans were just like plotting, and and they were loving it. So if I could have some fun with some Americans on the way down, yeah, you know, the locals, that's what I enjoy. Now, is it true that if you stick one of those in the freezer? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's true. Well, I was just gonna say, yeah, because uh, of course, it's two different metals. They freeze or you know they shrink and expand at different rates. So yeah, the, you just pop them apart. I've never tried it. I could probably do that. Sometime. I never would want to spend two dollars just to do that. <laughs> Speaking of weird things, supposedly this is a really different subject. If you stick grapes in the microwave, they explode. That has no relevance to the last question. Okay, and now I know you've been asked this a lot. But who are you most excited to see in the Sasquatch Festival? Mm, what happened? Um, probably the Yaya yeah, Yaz yeah, yeah. and the Kings of Leon. Yeah. Um, mm. They're my favorites. It's so funny, last year I made a, a, a playlist on my iPod for the drive down. And the ones that I enjoyed the most were like Yaya yeah, Yaz yeah, songs and Kings of Leon songs. Yeah. And sure enough, here they are at this year's festival. Yeah, it's pretty amazing to me. So yeah, I'm really excited about them. They're my like my favorite band. I'm also looking forward to um, King Khan and the Shrines. Never heard of them. Uh, Mountain Helens, Vietnam band. Yeah, so <laughs> I haven't heard these are all on the pirate pick. Yeah, this week we've been listening. Clearly not. Um, thank you. Um, that. Just sure, just make me look bad. I can't. Well, I mean, it's ten o'clock. You're busy watching Gossip Girl, so I can't. Uh, I can't. I no, can't I don't know. What was I? I didn't watch anything last. Night. I think I was on the internet. I was probably on Twitter. I know. Um, and uh, Girl Talk is really good too. Girl Talk is like a, a remix artist. All he does is take other songs and remix them into mm -hmm. these long epic songs. So I don't know how he's going to do that live. Yeah. Because like, you have the CDs there? I don't know. So it'll be interesting to see him, I think. Yeah. Uh, but then Dimitri, Dimitri Martin got canceled, though, the comedian I heard. Yeah. It's kind of a sad The thing. King King got canceled on Bumper Day. Bogus. Yeah. King King's alright. Yeah. But do you know, uh, have you heard Natalie Portman shaved head at all? Uh, no. Are they any good? No, I haven't heard of them either. I mean, I, all I know is that Jeremy puts like a playlist, he has them on the playlist, and they're like at every summer festival throughout Washington. Yeah. And I, I've like never heard of them. They either. must be good. I mean, it's weird that you'd name yourself after Natalie Portman shaved head, but... Uh, yeah, that's a... It's no Led Zeppelin, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, Led Zeppelin, 30 years from now, people will, will like, who's Natalie Portman? Exactly. Why does she have a shade of head? It's dumb. It's a bad name. Yeah. Way too topical. Names would be timeless. Yeah. Because like, if you want to be around for two years and then stop making music, fine. Name yourself that stupid name. Yeah. But if you're gonna want to have, you know, any kind of staying power, ah, yeah. You know, I think we need to take an edit break here to make sure that it's still. <laughs> Uh, maybe it's not the children that I hate so much, it's the 
terrible parents. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think I'm running out of questions. Yeah. yeah, really? Is this it? Yeah, we've I'm been, almost on my burger, too. I think we've been talking for like uh, 25 minutes now. Well, right? how long is the talk show usually? The talk show is usually about anywhere range from 20 to one time it was 40 minutes. So we get 25 minutes here, that pretty much yeah. takes care of this. What else is going to be on this week? I don't know, I, he's going to be there for the beginning of it. He's going to film that later on in the week when he has time. Oh, I am outraged by this. So by the time this goes on the internet, this festival will be done. Right? Yeah, probably. Oh, man. It makes me so angry. You didn't come, again, Brandon, really disappointed that you're not here. Yeah. What was the excuse again? Some internet thing? Uh, yeah, website probably. It's gonna take a couple of hours to come down here. Yeah. And, and spearhead his own podcast. Yeah, I know. Oh, very good. But hey, you know, you always wanted me to have a hosting job. That's true. And this way I got a hosting job. You did a really good job. Right, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, Look good. out, Brandon. I'm coming. Can you just be the host from now on? Probably not. Why not? I, you know, I, I told him last night, I like trying to say, come on, can you find time? And, you know, just... Here's what, they didn't give me a napkin. Um, that's ridiculous. It is. What? Yeah, you want? No. <laughs> you use the questions as an athlete. Yeah, okay. Okay. Brian is like the CEO of Throwing Lemons, right? He's the owner, yeah. All right, yeah. Right. Yeah. But I think we should step back. We should let you host. Maybe we can switch off weeks, you know? I host one week, he hosts the next week. He should be, he should be like the, 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 the owner who comes in with a cigar. He comes in, he's like, what's going on here, you know? And he kind of checks in from time to time. But you should be the full-time host. Yeah. He should give you that job of this podcast. Well, you know, owners don't very often, like, come on the show. They usually own the business and they have other people do the show. Right, exactly. He could be, like, a character who comes on once in a while. He can be there with you, but you should take over full-time hosting position of the Throwing Lemon podcast. That's my vote. My professional opinion. Hey, you know, I was like freaking out. I didn't want to do it. I was afraid to do it myself. I was like, oh no. Were be you afraid? Like, yeah, I was like, oh, I'm going to like screw this up. No. No, no, no. No, you were great. And that's, Brandon, that was his mistake by sending you here alone. Yeah. I, I think that he is, was afraid of me. Okay. Yeah, I think he was afraid of the big sexy man hug, which we clearly demonstrated is not a big deal or gay. Uh, no, I don't think it had to do with gay. I think it had to do with maybe he was scared you were going to crush him. Why would I crush him? <laughs> Why would I come down here? Oh. We picked up? Yeah, I got a thing. We probably can't hear a word you're saying now. Oh, well. Why would I come down here though and kill a man with my bare hands? And then I have to run like a fugitive back to the border before the cops could get me? Yeah. That's outrageous. Why would I uh... Yeah, but you know. Crush him to death? <laughs> really? <laughs> no, I I Yeah. This could have been yours, Brandon. Yeah, no, it's mine. No. Uh, and and the, the zone is actually that way. Somewhere down there. Or, yeah, it's pretty much that way. Yeah. yeah. Huh, from what I know. Never been there. It's great. It's come on. Sometime I want to come back to the area, yeah. Yeah, just come on there. Yeah. Alright, so we're done? Yeah, we're done. Well, good good talk show, everybody. Yeah. Good talk show. Good meeting you. Finally. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, good. Peace out. You have to sign off? You want to sign off? No, it's your show. It's your show. It's your show. See you later, guys. Did, did you say something like, uh, my guest has been Paul Placino or something like that? Oh yeah, I could Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, hey everybody, my guest has been Paul Placino. Been a pleasure. From the zone in 91.3. Thank you. Yeah. So, thanks for having me. Yeah.